Hello everybody! Welcome to another compilation video. Well, my last one was the 10 subscriber special, so that was quite a while back. Anyways, today we will be looking at 8 3D printed Gravitrax expansions. I picked perfect expansions for your tracks. You will surely love them, so watch till the end, they just keep getting better. Let's start at number 1, the Follow Me expansion. This expansion is composed out of several major components. First of all, we have the base plate for everything that goes on top of it, consisting of a single channel for the marble that lets go of the other marbles to go through. Then we have the base for the tower pieces right there. And that is there to hold as many tower pieces as you can want. The tower is there to hold the marbles in place before they are released. Then right there we have the guide, which guides the marbles so that they don't fall out while they rush out of the gate really quickly. And finally we have the latch, which basically holds the marbles in place before they are released. Now we can have a look at a demonstration video showing us how it all works. The latch is pushed by the first marble and all the other marbles follow it. Now let's build a track for it and see what it looks like in action. And let's start! As you can see, one marble always falls out. I fix this problem by always removing one marble less than the maximum limit of the towers. And I found out that it works perfectly well. As you can see in this slow motion shot, I remove one marble and none of them fall out. Now let's get rid of that and have a look at number 2. We have 8 of them, for goodness sake. This is a very special one, which I like to call the vertical U-turn, because that's basically what it is. A U-turn, but vertical. Anyways, let's build a track for it to really see how it works in a track. I really like how it is 3D printed with clear filament, so that you can see the silhouette of the marble as it passes through. Now, let's destroy that and have a look at number 3. This is another very interesting one and a multifunctional one as well. I use this in my very first YouTube video, which you can see in the top right corner right now. The way it works is that the marble can go in one direction with the slide and then basically rebound and go back through the tunnel that is built through the middle of it. I'm going to give you a better example, so let's have a look at it in a track. Now goes back and forth and into the finish line. How cool is that? And now for some slow motion shots. Okay, let's have a look at the fourth item on the list. Ivy, no, sorry, bad joke. This item is one of the most useful items that look very bad but actually are extremely useful. I use them in most of my videos actually. You might have noticed them but might not because they are actually very subtle. The way it works is that you can basically remove a spacer if it's in your way and basically build your track through its own support, which is really cool. I mean, just look at the example right here. Anyways, moving on to number five, we have another very interesting one. This item is very cool, but it's an older design. The newer one is on screen right now and in the description I'll put both links and tell you which one is the better one. In this one I had to put a rock at the back to glue it so that there's actually a way so that the marbles don't fall out immediately, but in this one it's fixed very easily. Anyways, how it works. Two marbles pile up at the end using this first longer channel. Then the third marble comes using the second shorter channel and tips them all over. Now, let's have a look at it in action.
two marbles. And then the last marble releases them all. Now let's dump that and have a look at number six. Possibly my most favorite one, the funnel. Composed out of two major parts, you have the base and you have the funnel itself. Very simple way it works, but it is quite boring as the marble just falls down and doesn't spin at all. Two things you can do to this, you can make the marble approach the funnel with very high speeds so that it spins for a long time. And of course I didn't do this because I'm lazy, just sandpaper it and it will be much more smoother and reduce the friction logically. I don't want to bore you with a physics lesson, so let's have a look at the track I built for it. Also, I have these extra blockers you can 3D print, and these basically go into the entrances and exits of the funnel, and basically it stops the marble from flying out, which happened to me quite often. As you can see, our marble got saved this time using one of the blockers just there. And here we have a beautiful view of the base and how it works. Moving on, we have number seven, second to last, and it is the marble launcher. Of course, we need a magnetic cannon for this to work, but all of you have it because it comes in every single starter set. And the way it works is that it basically shoots the marble out and then it lands into this basically. You can say golf hole, which then redirects it into the correct direction for the track to continue. Let me show you a very nice example. Cannon primed and ready, and let's go! Perfect. It's just so satisfying as it falls into it perfectly every single time. Anyways, here are some slow motion shots. And now let's get rid of it so that we can prepare the grand finale, the eighth and final expansion. This one is actually quite similar to the sixth one, to the funnel or black hole you could say, well, blue hole basically. Uh, because it, it actually is a funnel, but it's different. You'll see how. It is built out of these four components, which stack on top of each other, just like this. Then the marble goes through at the top, and then randomly comes out at one of the six possible directions. This is possible because there is a point at the very top, which gives the marble an equal chance for all of them to decide on to which side it will fall. Now let's build a track for it. And three, two, one, go! Now let's add some more marbles to the mix. And finally, stop it off with the slow mo. again, as you're at the end of the video, I will now show you how to get these files for yourself. I put links into the description for every single one of the expansions used in this video. All you need to do, if you have a 3D printer, is download them on Thingiverse and then print them for free. But if you don't have a 3D printer, don't worry, you can still go on to Thingiverse and then simply order them for yourself. They will print it for you and send it right to your door. Anyways, that's it for today. Goodbye.